Dorian is finally moving away from the Bahamas, but is leaving so much destruction behind. And this morning, the death toll is climbing as crews search for survivors. And it looks, it looks worse than BVI, guys. It looks worse. Ugh, I didn't know it was possible. Islands took direct hits, elbow key, Great Abaco and Grand Bahama. Grand Bahama Airport is five feet underwater. The storm surge was 18 to 23 feet. 30 inches of rain, sustained winds of 185 miles an hour, gusts up to 220 miles per hour. The second strongest Atlantic hurricane since 1950. Our team from Abaco confirms the place is a disaster. No business is operable and bodies are floating around. The concern is nobody knows how many people died and they feel when the water subsides, some bodies will be washed out to sea. Bahamas is, is completely flat, and so there wasn't anywhere for people to go. The biggest thing we need to understand is we do need to go, and the rest will fall into place as more information comes out every hour. Angel Porman, she is Heidi Baker's head of relief, Iris Relief. And uh, a plan to probably execute by Tuesday or Wednesday of next week get there, get the solar lights, we would love for you guys to come out with us and yeah. give out lights and really, really have that shared experience that we can come together shoulder to shoulder to, to serve. Aerial produced Two Girls Are Coming, we're going to be posting daily vlogs as well as uh, conducting a lot of interviews and really this is a recon trip of understanding what the need is and then being able to provide that through film, being able to have people understand what that is. So Two Girls Aerial produced. We've got an ER doctor, Dr. Dr. Stu, coming on the trip, which would be awesome to figure out how to really set him up for success there. I'm there to meet with uh, leadership and government officials and try to coordinate additional relief and uh, long-term recovery and rebuilding. We have Jeremy Locke coming along on the trip. He is a Special Forces Green Beret currently in the Army. He's going to be helping us to organize the information operationally, help calm down the chaos, keep everything on track, set up uh, what we're going to be doing after with all this information, as well as providing security and guiding us through the experience. I am going to help with the hurricane relief in the Bahamas. Um, as a civilian. Well, the main goal of this trip is to gather information. So when that information can be used to follow on and make everything streamline a lot better. What we would normally do in the pre-deployment phase, which is what we're doing now, we're getting our packing list together. We are, uh, we're talking with, through Iris right now, and they're finding out the information that's on the ground. So they're gonna tell us like where we're gonna go, where we're gonna stage out of, like where we're flying from. Please go to aerialglobalcommunity.org and fill out the application. Let us know how you want to help and what resources you want to offer. It can be your time, it can be your jet, whatever you've got, let us know and we're going to put it all together and help the Bahamas at scale because that's what it takes. It takes us all coming together and doing a little bit or a lot and these people can be helped in their darkest hour. So thank you, thank you, thank you.